Okay, hello everyone. Welcome to our blog related to big data. And today we will talk in details about uh, Hue from Cloudera VM. Uh, so basically, we'll talk about graphical interface for navigating through HDFS. Right? So Hue is accessible through the following link. Right, quickstar.cloudera port uh, four eight. Uh, so it should be, it should be enough. Yeah. So if you are asked for uh, credentials, just enter Cloudera as your login and Cloudera as a password as well, uh, and you'll see something like that. So today we'll explore the menu of the hue so what all these all these uh, menu points stand for uh, so uh, let's start from browsers uh, let's go to documents yeah so for now it's completely empty and that's fine here we can uh, create new documents new folders and so on Right. So right now we are not going to do that. Uh, just just to remember that from here you can access all your uh, documents which are stored in HDFS. Uh, so uh, let's go to files. So basically that's a browser of uh, HDFS. Uh, so using graphical interface you can navigate through HDFS and by default you are in your home directory uh, so basically the same will be if we use command line uh, so for example if we want to list all files in our home catalog so as you remember this is done by this ls command we can do either uh, ls this folder user cloudera uh, let's do that. U user user slash cloudera. Okay. Okay. So we can see the same as in hue, just a trash bin. But actually, the same effect would be if we just execute this ls command without any arguments. Uh, so. Um, our cluster will interpret this command that we want to list uh, what we have in our home directory. Uh, so as we are logged in as Cloudera, so it will list all files which are in uh, Cloudera folder, user Cloudera, right? Okay, so what can we see here? So trash and so basically, the trash uh, trash bin is the same for is just a usual folder as any other on HDFS. Uh, uh, the only thing is that it is emptied periodically. Yeah, so anything what is stored there will be cleaned based on the settings we provide so periodically let's say once a day once an hour or once a month based on the configuration everything what is placed under trash folder will be deleted yeah so it shouldn't be used to store some files permanently so it's uh it has the same meaning as recycle meaning uh, windows for example yeah? uh, but based on uh, based on hue, we have some options here. Yeah, so for example, empty trash. That would mean that everything what is here will be deleted. Yeah, so we don't need to wait. Uh, actually, the same uh, could be done. Uh, could be done via command line. Uh, so, for example, if you want to clean what is placed under this folder. Uh, so what we should do is just to 
I just use is just to use this uh, remove command, right? And then we just remove uh, remove this folder, and it means it will be permanently deleted, right? So as you see, it has been deleted, and we don't see any notifications that uh, this folder or files under it has been placed in a trash bin, yeah, because it's already a trash bin. And if we just refresh it, let's do that. Okay, so you see we have an error, cannot access, uh, because there is no such path. If we go up, uh, so you can see that we don't have uh, don't have this folder anymore. So it has been uh, deleted from the trash, right? So we can do the same by pressing this button. Okay, the only difference is that we have a warning. Either we are sure we want to delete it, uh, just press delete, and we delete everything what we have in the trash. But of course, under the hood, what a hue does, it just executes a similar command that we did, yeah, and just uh, removes everything from there. Also, you can see uh, that here we have a trash, uh, trash icon, so we can uh, navigate to our trash folder from any other location and of course each user uh, has its own trash bin uh, okay and if we are under the folder which is not trash we have also some other options to use uh, so for example we can upload something uh, either a zip archive or file uh, uh, let's do that Okay, so for example, uh, under downloads or okay, uh, let's take desktop. So let's say we want to upload this file Eclipse Desktop. Okay, and it has been successfully uploaded. Right. So if we do ls here, we should see this new file here as well. Okay. Let's move to desktop. But of course, we can do the same from the command line using uh, using put command, right? Uh, let's put this enterprise to our user Clodera. Okay, so the first argument what we put, and uh, the second one to where. Okay, and if we now refresh. Now refresh, let's wait a bit. Okay, we see this enterprise desktop as well. Yeah, so uh, what you once again does under the hood, it just executes this put command, right? Uh, also, if we want, uh, we want to create a directory or empty file. Uh, let's see, there's that file, but, okay, and as you might think, uh, what we do using this new, so if we create a new file, we just execute touch z command, uh, and if we create a directory, mkdir command is executed under the hood. Uh, so, hue uses the same console commands to navigate or interact with the HDFS, yeah, but it does it under the hood, but we are working with HDFS using uh, using graphical interface. Uh, so that's that's the only difference. Okay, so also we have this home icon, so we can navigate to our home directory from any other uh, from any other location. Uh, so, for example, 
we are under user queue, but we are logged in as a Cloudera user, as we can see here. So if we press this uh, home icon, we are automatically redirected to our home directory. So sometimes it's uh, quite useful. All right. Okay. Um, under tables. So basically from here we can access all tables we have in our cluster. Right? So first we see uh, databases. So only uh, by default only one exists. It's named default. Uh, but we can create new ones by pressing here and so on. So we'll discuss that in details when we'll talk about uh, databases available in Cloudera VM. So, okay, indexes. So if we have indexed something, not yet, as you see. Jobs. So we can have some jobs running in our cluster. So big data, uh, data processing, and so on. Jobs. So we'll cover that in uh, very details in a couple of lectures. Uh, okay, edge base. So that's a. Uh, no SQL database or no SQL database. We'll talk about it um, in details uh, because it's extremely useful and popular nowadays. And Scoop, that's a quite interesting tool which allows us to export and import data from uh, MySQL databases to Hadoop cluster. So we export data either to HDFS or to a uh, uh, Hadoop database called Hive. Uh, so um, we'll talk about uh, Scoop in about two weeks. Yeah, so basically Scoop will be the first big data tool we'll talk about. Uh, uh, but for now you should be quite f uh, quite confident with HDFS, how to use it, how to copy data to or from HDFS, how to navigate uh, through it using uh, command line or a hue. Okay, uh, so in one week uh, we'll start uh, talking about uh, Cloudera Manager in details. Yeah, so we'll have a special lecture related to that and after that, as it was mentioned, we'll start talking about big data tools and Scoop will be the first one which allows us to export or import data to or from SQL databases to Hadoop cluster. Okay, and that would be all for today. Thanks to all for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Visit our blog available at blog.dataguru.guide. Uh, there you'll find some articles which actually accompany all our videos. And uh, the next article should be available somewhere in uh, in the middle of upcoming week so stay tuned so thanks to all for watching once again if you haven't seen our previous videos it's the right time to do that now otherwise thanks and see you all bye bye